All week long, we've been talking with Mary Beth Blair, who's been bringing uh, with her outstanding young people from the youth fair. Absolutely. And uh, we are on a three for three ro- uh, roll here. So the pressure's on on this Thursday the morning, Mary on. Beth. I tell you what. <laughs> The pressure was on last night. You should have seen me texting everyone at the down at the youth fair grounds, you know, just trying to find that next great interview. And there's so many amazing young people. Like I could pull anyone really, but you're kind of always just looking for somebody who surfaces that um, is a pleasant surprise or just you know just a great story. Just to honestly, you're really just trying to tell the story of the youth fair through the eyes of these young exhibitors. And I was so thrilled that when I interviewed Scott Boyd, who is the chairman of the Beef Show, mm-hmm. you all made fun of me calling him the Beef sh- beef Chair, so I tried to read. Or- did you see beef. that? You see? The <laughs> yes, chairman, chairman of the, of the Beef board Show. is Frank Sinatra, chairman yes, of the Beef. Yes, <laughs> yes. But I, I mean, m- many of you all may, may know Scott Boyd. He's the owner of South Berkeley Pharmacy and Jefferson Pharmacy, and also a huge supporter. His family is of the fair and so he's in charge of the beef show and he was i was interviewing him and i said so tell me about the show today because yesterday was the beef show were there any surprises with the placings and and the, who, those who, who who were showing and you know a new judge a, a different show could see a different thing so it just depends on what that judge is looking for however um yesterday scott said you know there's always surprises at the shows but yesterday i was so impressed with one in particular, and that is my guest today. So I, I found her number, found her parents, and uh, we invited her to join us. This is Miss Sadie Jenkins. She is all of, what did you tell me, nine years old, Sadie? Yeah. Fourth grade, and we have some pictures we're going to show you when they can find them um, from Rob. But she, well, how big was your steer that you showed yesterday? Pretty big. Pretty big. <laughs> it's as tall as she is, maybe taller than she is, but you can imagine. Her dad's in the studio. How, how many pounds was, was that steer? 1232. 1232. That's wow. 1,232 pounds <laughs> next to Sadie. And she showed that. And not only did she show, she was a first time exhibitor in this, this category for beef. And she came out on top, junior showman, grand champion. How does it feel? It feels great. (laughs) I'm just sitting here and all of you that, you know, all of you, your small size and that big animal. Does it ever, is it intimidating to be in a ring with an animal that big? No. No. Have you grown up around the um, cattle like this? Have, does your, you, you guys have a farm, right? Yeah. So have you always been around cows like this? Yeah. So they, they're just, it's just like. Another day at the farm, I guess, for you, right? Yeah. So what made you, you also show something else too, right? What did you tell me you, you show? A sheep. A sheep. Which do you like better, the sheep or the or the cattle? Steers. You like the steers. Wow. Mm-hmm. Sadie, why did you? How, why are you drawn to steers? How, how come you're able to work with them so well? Because, like, you can, like, make them learn, and sometimes they can be your friend, sometimes they can be a pet. And you can just get attached to them and learn, hey, um, I have a steer, and I could probably take this. And you can make better money with it. And I just think it's a better animal to take to fare than a lamb. So you've got animal knowledge. You've got economic knowledge. <laughs> business. Well, and you're, pa- Perry, you're doing a good job over there, buddy. I know. My yeah, man. goodness. All right. So does your steer have a name? Dozer. Dozer. How did you pick Dozer? Well, my sister took him as a feeder calf last year and asked which name and dozer, and plus he looked like one. He looks like a big dozer? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Cool. Now, is he going to market on Friday? Yeah. Okay. How's that feeling, and are you ready to do that, to depart? Are you? What are you thinking? I'm just ready to, like, get over with <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Move on to being nine again, right? Well, but will you then, uh, did you love it enough that you're going to come back next year and do steer again? Yeah. Yeah? So you're just ready. You're probably ready to meet the next one, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I'm, I, I did not grow up as a country boy. So I, I've never done any of what you're talking about doing. What does it take to actually show a steer? What do you do? Like, you get one, like, you look for, like, a nice steer, and then, like, you buy it, and then you want to walk it every day and you want to like feed it certain things and you just want to like take care of it okay i have a little dog and i walk it every day 
That's different yeah. than walking a steer. No, you just put the leash on the steer <laughs> and take him right down <laughs> the down street. The street. Like okay. you right. No big deal. When you say you walk it, so do you actually get it on a lead and you walk it around your property? Is that what you do or in, in the ring at home? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you also, I heard um, some of the, I think I was talking to one of the other um, beef uh, showman yesterday, I think it was Andrew, and he was telling me you have to rinse the cow. How often do you have to do that? Do you have to rinse him every day, feed him? What else? You can rinse him every day, but you can't wash him any, every day. And you can give them like four or five scoops things, and you can give them other types of feed with yeah. that feed. So, yeah. Sadie, tell me how you control a steer when you show it. Take me through the process. Um, so if he tries to get away, I could try to yank back, but when he got away, I just went over there and tried to get him again, and then you just, like, he walks in kind of, like, place, so I kind of, like, fixed his set a little bit, and he just stand there. You fixed his what? Set. What's his set? What is that? When he, like, when he puts his front leg straight and his back legs, like... It's complicated. <laughs> okay. I'm not real intelligent, but I'll try to understand. So that's that's okay. You can get as detailed as you want. Well, you like you know how you walk them and their feet like move. Yeah. You want to put the one on your side, upwards, closest to the front feet, okay. and then put the front feet straight, and then put the one on the judge's side back. Oh, you'll actually when nice. you watch them in the ring they go in and they come do kind of a circle and they get in place and then when they stop they'll fix their animals feet that's what she's in that what you're talking about they yeah. set them mm -hmm. so they make sure they set their feet so here she is adjusting this 12 1200 plus pound animal setting his feet to where he will look the best for the judge i mean i just I wish I would have been there ringside awesome. to see this. I can't imagine. And are you holding a lead? It's essentially on his on his chin while. Yeah. Okay. And do you practice this before the show? I walk him every day. Well, three weeks before fair, I walked him every day, and he was just really calm. And he and he was just a puppy dog, so he <laughs> listened. <laughs> Does Dozer recognize you? Yeah. Yeah. So when you when you walk out to see Dozer during the day, does Dozer like? Does his head come up and look, walks over to you? Well, if he's, like, laid down here, hurry up and get up because he knows he's going to get fed. Oh, well, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the food, Rob. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that, I, I think that uh, steer is probably Italian, so we react <laughs> to food the same way. I have Fair a enough. feeling that you're going to be, your, your steer is going to be highly sought out after at mm -hmm. this auction on Friday. I think people are going to be very impressed with you and what you've accomplished and just really be looking your way so we're excited to see how that goes have you been able to do anything else fun while you've been at the fair this week or do you just stay in your in the barn and take care of your animals well i don't just stay in the barn like i go and check on um, my sheep yeah and then i walk around and see some of the sheep i pet some of them and then i can like look around and look at the animals yeah what is your sheep's name tank Tank. Now, are you taking Tank back home? Tink or Tank? Tank. Tank. Okay. So, are you taking that back home? Yeah. Okay. So, that you're only take, taking your steer. That's right. Just one. Okay. All right. Guys. We've talked a lot about the steer. What's it like to show the sheep? Are they more challenging than the steer? Well, they can be because um, they can, like, step on your foot, but it doesn't hurt much as a steer. But, like, it's easy for them to step on your foot foot more than steers and like you have to set them you have to go in front of them and like back them up mm -hmm. but I tried that a couple of times like at least like two weeks before fair he kept pushing me back instead of me pushing him back mm. and then I got like I realized I could put my um, knee in the middle of his two front legs and push him back and he can't push me all right so it's leverage yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, how big is a sheep? We're talking. You're walking out there with a 1,300 pound steer and able to direct that steer pretty easily. How big is the sheep? He's pretty big. <laughs> well, pretty big too. So, a couple of hundred pounds, probably. 150. 150. Okay. All right. And so, do you have to take care of of keeping your sheep? kind of properly cropped, you know, shaved and so forth, all of the elements that go into that? I think, like, you at least, like, shear him once a month, okay. close to fair. Mm -hmm. So when you show a sheep, is it is it 
is it poofy <laughs> or or is, is the have you shaved it down or sheared it down when you I, show it um you want to shear it down before you show it but you can also shear at the fair Sadie, is poofy the technical term for a sheep <laughs> before it's been I didn't sheared? want to laugh too hard when you said poofy, yeah. but that's awesome. Poofy, she agrees. Poofy is the correct Poofy's term. Poofy is a good though. word. But that's, I don't know if you heard us talking earlier um, in the week, but they actually have one contest called a fitting contest, and it actually demonstrates what they do to prepare these animals. So the, that's what the technical term for all of the animals that go into the ring is fit. You fit it, and fitting it is sh shearing and which also I would imagine you have help with that right you don't shear it yourself do you mm. and do you do you, but you'd probably take the hair dryer and fluff up its little its its legs the fluffy hair on its legs did you do that yeah. and they they there's hairspray or whatever they, they have certain types of sprays they put on it I mean they really groom out their animals to look the best they do it to show off the structure of the animal for the judge so that the judge can determine how well this animal you know will do it market if it's a market animal and for show i guess you're really just trying to make it look as good as you can right mm -hmm. yeah so do you have any special things you do to yours to make it look really really awesome no i just like brush his legs like down to get all the stuff up and brush it like like i take my hand and like i put it pull it to the back uh-huh that's okay and i pull it the other one and then like i take the brush and kind of like brush the back since it's kind of like squared uh-huh and that's what i did do they do the animals like to be when you groom them like that how do they feel do they are they irritated or do they enjoy it um uh, my lamb does not enjoy it <laughs> <laughs> uh-oh he like takes his back leg and keeps like put pulling it up uh-huh. Mm. Oh, gosh. I have a dog like that that doesn't like to be groomed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dogs are famous for that. So this is your first year showing yeah. animals, right? Mm -hmm. What did you do last year at this time? I did Pee-wee, and I showed a pig, a goat, and a lamb. And how did you do? Since they had, like, trophies at that time, I got grand champion with the lamb, reserve champion with the go goat, and I don't know what place I got with the pig. All right, very good. What grade are you going into this year, Sadie? Fourth. And where do you go to school? Eagle School. What's your, oh, you're just down the road. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you should drop by sometime. <laughs> you know, you're just right around the corner there. You could co-host with Rob. Yeah, mm -hmm. we could do that. What's your favorite class? Um, like homeroom. Yeah, well, you like homeroom best? Yeah. Okay, well, that's cool. All right, very nice. How's Eagle School? Uh, you, have, you have a good time there? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. You're a good student? Yeah. Tell me, I want to know about the farm that you guys live on. So your your farm is called Jenkins Farm, so it must be your family farm. What all animals do you guys raise there? We, we raise um, cows. Um, we only had one dairy cow, though. We still raise her. And we raise um, goat. We, no, we sold all the goats. Um, we had sheep. Okay. And... We had pigs, but we took them to the fair, but that was someone else's uh -huh. on the farm. And yeah. And your steer, right? Yeah. How many of mm -hmm. those do you have? We have three since my two sisters have one. Awesome. And so they exhibit as well? Yeah. Yeah. Do they kind of, have they kind of showed you the ropes and taught you a lot of things? How did you learn to do all the things that you're doing right now? Um, Savannah, my sister, Savannah Jenkins, she taught me how to hold the stick, walk the stair. She told me all the stuff you need for showmen. That's a awesome big sister. <laughs> what and about, does your, do your parents, were either of them in the youth fair or FFA and in, involved in the fair? My dad was. Yeah, so he showed? Mm -hmm. What did he show? What did you show? <laughs> <laughs> so you were a dairy, he was in the dairy as well. Wow, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Mary Beth, oh good. I just wanted to go back to the beginning of, you talked about when you first get the steer, it, it's it's a small steer, and then you're raising it to be the steer that you show at the fair. How big is that steer when you get it that you then build it up to 1,300 pounds? It, like, you know how, like, steers are, like, little, like, mm -hmm. when they're babies? Um like times that one time so they're like like medium okay so they like weigh like 500 pounds and we call that a feeder calf 
Okay. And you grab the fever calf. If you want, you can show it, and then next year you can show it as a steer. So you could show that same animal twice yeah. in the feeder, you said, and then as a full-grown steer. Yeah. And w how long is that process to what, when you get a, a, the steer at about 500 pounds and you may show it early on as a feeder and then you show it so it's a one-year process, you can show it one year and then the next year it's gone from 500 pounds to 1,300 pounds. Yeah. That's wow. a lot of eating. <laughs> it's like Thanksgiving. Yeah. It's a commitment every day. Wow. Yes. <laughs> and every day. And you yeah. and you've got to take that feed out and and feed that big steer every day. Mm -hmm. Does it get boring at times? Are you it's like, like do I have to do this again? <laughs> yeah. Do you like to watch him eat? Mm, not really. No. Yeah. <laughs> He's not a neat eater at all. Well, he eats. I work with my lamb. Oh, nice. All right. Because yeah. he has to eat before I walk him, or else he's very grouchy. <laughs> <laughs> what does he do when he's grouchy? He tries to run from me, and then he tries to, like, run. Like, that's all. He yeah. doesn't want to walk. So how do you bring him back when he runs? Do you whistle like a dog? Do you have... <laughs> I go and get him, but if he tries to run again, then one of my parents or one of my sisters or both of them would help me get him. Yeah. Are you ever afraid of your steer? No. You're a brave young lady. I'd be afraid of a 1,200-pound <laughs> steer. All right. Uh, Mary Beth, before so we run out of time, can you run down oh, the schedule today sure. and we'll get back okay, to Okay, so right now, starting early this morning, we had the horse show in the English and Walk Trot Jog Division, which is going on in the horse arena. The dairy show is going on right now in the indoor arena. And then we this afternoon, some fun. Are you doing the Barnyard Olympics? Yeah. Okay, so Sadie's going to be out there in the Barnyard Olympics at 2, and then the Watermelon Eating Contest at 5, and that's just for exhibitors. Um, corn shucking, which is always fun. That's another contest just for the exhibitors. The Carnival opens at 6. The big uh, contest this evening in the ring is the Round Robin, which I think I explained yesterday was there'll be all the top showmen mm -hmm. from all the, spe the four species. There'll be four uh, exhibitors vying for that coveted belt that's another big belt buckle that uh, they will be competing for that's at six the mini tractor pull is tonight uh, there will be a parade of champions tonight so this is kind of like the farewell where you'll is see the all first the one? champions this is the first parade of champions uh no, they 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 they've only have one yes oh, they'll okay. do a parade right. of champions it's with all the animals so you'll be in that won't you Mm -hmm. So I'll see her tonight in the Parade of Champions. Mm -hmm. the, the horse uh, exhibitors even come up as well. And then in the ring tonight at 8 is the uh, UT, uh, UTV side-by-side uh, -side flat drag. So pretty full night. Hopefully the, the rain looks just to be uh, enough to cool things off. So hopefully that's all that that will do, mm -hmm. and it'll keep things moving smoothly at the fair. Yeah, it's only supposed to be 80 degrees as a high today. I'll so. take that. Yeah. Yeah, we... I, I don't know if any of you, you, probably none of you all watched the, sh the coverage last night, but it got so hot in there at the end. I was interviewing Mikey, Lexi and I were, and I thought I was going to pass out. I'm like, I was dripping wet it was just like a heat wave in there mm -hmm. i don't know what it was uh, i will welcome the cool air today we had gotten some news last night i'll just say this real quick and give a shout out to eric carper um with the um classical christian academy he mm -hmm. came in and matched my corn beast twenty five hundred dollars so they we now have have five thousand dollars to start the uh, the year off for the Berkeley County scholarship scholarship fund so last year they were able to give a five hundred dollar scholarship now there there's already 25 well that was the top award they gave you know mm -hmm. everyone who participated received something i think i'm not sure how much each one of them received but now they starting the year off strong with a five thousand dollar total in the bank because of those two gentlemen businesses generosity so thank you to both of them mike will be on the show in the nine o'clock yeah, hour today he can, with he can john talk hardy about that i think he said he wasn't going to just stop with one match he was going to go after some others so that's great. Is, and is that strictly for youth fair participants? Yes. If you are an exhibitor at the youth fair as a senior, you can apply for the scholarship. And it's for those who are going on to study something agriculture related. Mm -hmm. Sadie, what do you have to do the rest of this week for, with your animals? What's left? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so Parade of Champions day. probably today, right? And then mm -hmm. Friday they take their animals home, right? Well, you're not taking your steer home. She'll be preparing for 
Mm -hmm. showing it at the livestock auction and the beef are the last category so it's going to be a long night oh. for you waiting isn't it mm -hmm. <laughs> Zadie what else do you like to do besides take care of your animals really nothing <laughs> that's a full time She's job right now you, you said you're going to be in the barnyard olympics today have you done that before yeah tell us I, I'm wondering what type of events are in the barnyard olympics and what is your favorite of those um there's like the you need partner so you need lots of partners <laughs> if you want to do different things you can do different partners or the same one and there's um a wheelbarrow one like you push that person and then they hurt and get out and they switch and then they push and and then whoever wins yeah and then there's like oh there's all different types of ones do, do you like the wheelbarrow? Is that your favorite, or which one's yours? The wheelbarrow one. Okay. Mm. You don't have to, like, throw a cow chip or anything like that. It's, <laughs> I just Speaking think of, of cow chips, there was a cow chip bingo last night ah. at the Martinsburg High School. Did you win? FFA. No, I didn't win. And we were, it was funny because Spencer was like, oh, my gosh, I hope this doesn't drag on for an hour. And literally, as soon as that cow got into the ring, Bam. Oh, that's it was like seconds. I don't even know that the cow was in there a minute. It was just immediate. And, yeah, so, no, I was not the lucky winner. Good high-fiber diet for the cow paid off. But, Nicely yeah, done. It was, Sadie, yeah. thanks so much for coming in today. Uh, any final thoughts as you get ready for the start of another school year and the end of the youth fair? No. All right. Anybody want to say hello to? No. Nobody? <laughs> no. All right. Fair enough. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. You know? Uh Think about it since you're just around the corner. If you ever, you know, want to come in one day and co-host, just let us know. We'll you know, <laughs> get a permission slip from your mom and dad. Cool. Okay. All, All right. right. Good to see you. Sadie Jenkins.